Hamilton County Sheriff's deputy is in jail tonight after video shows him kick an inmate in the head. WCPO is choosing to blur the face of the man the deputy is kicking because that man is not facing any charges related to this incident. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco is live outside the Justice Center tonight for us. Courtney, you spoke to the sheriff as well. And Craig, the sheriff tells me Sergeant Jesse Franklin is on unpaid leave tonight. He's here in the Hamilton County Jail facing a charge of misdemeanor assault. I'm about to show you the video that shows him kick an inmate in the head. Some people might not want to see that. This is your warning. This is the video evidence taken inside the Hamilton County Justice Center. The video shows a man in handcuffs on the ground. Pay attention to this deputy. Investigators say the inmate bit his work boot. I want to warn you, the graphic portion is coming. That deputy then takes the other foot and kicks the inmate in the head. I am outraged and shocked by the egregious conduct. Sheriff Jim Neal says that deputy is Sergeant Jesse Franklin. He's been with the sheriff's office for 14 years. He's a supervisor assigned to the Hamilton County Jail. We chose not to reveal the inmate's name because he's not charged in this incident. It happened June 9th as deputies tried to book him into jail for disorderly conduct while intoxicated and obstructing official business. After the deputy kicked him, investigators say he had to go to the hospital and get five stitches above his left eye. Then deputies brought him back to jail. These actions are inconsistent with our training and will not be tolerated under my watch. The sheriff would not confirm when or how he found out about the incident, but says he immediately ordered a criminal investigation and suspended Sergeant Franklin's police powers. I asked the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office to see Sergeant Franklin's records in order to check for past discipline or complaints. I'm still waiting for that. If convicted of this assault, he could end up in jail for up to six months. Prosecutor Joe Dieter sent us a statement. He said not everybody has the temperament to be an officer. Actions like these are a harsh reminder that resources must be dedicated to recruiting the right kind of officers and ensuring that they have the proper equipment, knowledge, training, and temperament to do the job. Reporting live downtown Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.